Hello, I have finally made up my mind to make a video on this topic as it's often a part of ESL curriculum. Today we are learning crime and punishment related vocabulary and after watching this video you can do a quiz to learn these words and phrases even better. Check out the link below in the video description. Let's start with different types of crime, the most popular ones. Stealing something is called a theft, but when it happens openly with the use of violence, then it's a robbery. Mugging is a type of robbery, quick and violent, that happens in a public place. Breaking into a house or any building and stealing things from there is a burglary. Just an act of physical violence is an assault, only if it happens without stealing, otherwise it turns into a robbery. Sexual violence is called a rape. A murder is another name for a killing. A murder for political or religious reasons is called an assassination. Abducting someone and holding a person captive, often for ransom, is a kidnapping. Seizing a vehicle, aircraft or a vessel in order to use it for one's own purposes is hijacking. A fraud is a criminal deception that is aimed at a financial or personal gain. Blackmail is demanding money or another benefit in return for not disclosing damaging or compromising information about the victim. Those were examples of serious crimes, but there are so-called minor crimes, also known as misdemeanors. For example, shoplifting is when someone secretly steals goods from shops, hiding them in clothes or bags. Public intoxication is when a person appears visibly drunk, also known as public drunkness, or under the influence of drugs in public places. Streaking is showing up naked in public places. When a person disturbs other people with his or her behavior, or just loitering in certain places without permission, it's called a disorderly conduct. Entering someone's property without permission is trespassing, and deliberate destruction of public or private property is vandalism. Juvenile crimes, also known as juvenile delinquency or juvenile offending, are understood as acts of unlawful behavior performed by an underage person. According to some statistics, almost half of all arrests of juvenile delinquents are made on account of disorderly conduct, theft, simple assault, drug abuse and curfew violation. Now let's look at criminals. In this slide you can see the name of a crime and a person who commits the crime. The one who steals is a thief. A person who commits a robbery is a robber. In the same manner we can name the others – a burglar, a shoplifter, a murderer, a rapist, but we don't say an assaulter, a common name for such a person is an attacker. So what happens when people go down the road of crime? Let's break it down into steps and stages. Someone breaks a law and if it's something serious we can say commits a crime. In every crime there is the criminal or the wrongdoer and the victim. Then the crime is reported to the police, often by the victim, but not always, and the police start investigating the crime, or investigating the case, by collecting evidence, questioning witnesses and victims, and examining forensic data. If a suspect is identified, he or she is arrested or apprehended, charged with a crime, and the case is sent to court. There it is tried or heard by a judge or panel of judges, often together with juries. The prosecution is to prove that the accused, also called a defendant, is guilty, whereas it is an attorney's job, also known as defense, to prove the opposite, that the accused is innocent. It is up to the judges and the juries to make the final decision. If found guilty, the accused is sentenced to prison or to a fine. In some countries, death penalty still exists, also known as capital punishment. If the accused is found not guilty, he or she is released. If a person is sent to prison or to jail in American English, he or she becomes a convict or a prisoner or also called an inmate. For less serious crimes, people might be put on probation, which means a release under supervision on condition that a person behaves well or given a suspended sentence. Now let's take a look at some crime and punishment related phrases. Lock somebody up means put somebody to prison. For example, if found guilty, he could be locked up for many years. Get away with a crime means to avoid punishment for some crime. 
For example, it's very hard to get away with tax crimes nowadays with all those modern communication systems in place. To be behind bars, to be in prison. She has been behind bars for over 10 years now. There is also some confusion with prepositions in some phrases. We should say to suspect somebody of something, but not in or about something. For example, they suspected him of stealing the money. The same preposition is used with the verb convict. For example, he was convicted of murder, and the verb charge requires the preposition with. He was charged with a serious crime. I hope you will be able to make use of the vocabulary from this short video. Don't forget about the quiz, here is the link above and also it's in the description of this video. This is all for now, I'm always happy to see your likes and comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye!